Hi everyone, so today I wanted to show you how the MIDI bit clock works in Magic Cube. So uh, what is the MIDI bit clock? So basically it's the way of setting the speed of your chase or an effect that's running in your playback, um, the bits per minute, the speed of it, using the external sources and uh, uh, say an app that that converts the beats, the reads, the beats per minute of the song and sends it into the magic queue. And then it also basically controls the speed of the chase and effect. So um, I'll show you from, from the way that I learned how to use it and then uh, you can experiment your own way. So, and my uh, bits per minute may not be accurate as it could be in your case, simply because I've got a lot of noises coming from my laptop itself because, uh, yeah, it's running really loud from the fans. So I'll try to reduce it as much as I can, but it is what it is. So first of all, you will need a magic queue unlocked. So that can be any uh, blue hard, uh, campus device that can remove the demo mode. So, uh, that could be a mini wing, PC wing, uh, extra wing, or dual USB box, or uh, Rackman dongle, regardless. So, another, uh, f um, another piece of software I would need is, because I'm using the Mac, it's called the Wave Clock. So, you can download it. At his, uh, this is running in, uh, in a trial period. I think it's about 60 minutes. And after that, you'll need to restart it. So again, this is not for commercial purposes I'm using. So I'm just showing for demonstration. So if you decided to use it commercially, please buy the license from the wave clock. Okay. So, and, um, another piece of software you would need. Uh, let me open the website for you. So basically, this is what you will need. So the, the, uh, the, the website is called wavesum.net and the product is called WaveClock. You can download the OSX version. So as I said, download this one from here. And yeah, it's got not expensive license as well. But for, for my case, because it's a trial, I'm using it for free. So I've downloaded from here. If you, you, uh, then what you will need to do is if you're using a Mac, I'm using the IP MIDI again. This is the uh, version that runs in a trial, uh, free evaluation, works for 60 minutes, and then you'll have to restart it again. If you're using this commercially, then uh, I would suggest you to buy the license from them. There's other methods of using, uh, like using the IP MIDI within, uh, within Mac, but, uh, and for free, but I'm using this method. So just to show you how easy it is to create. It's a nice piece of software as well. So then if you're using the Windows, then instead of the IP MIDI, you would need RTP MIDI made by Tobias Ericsson. So that's his website, tobias-ericsson.de, and you can download it or just Google RTP MIDI. You'll find it again. You can download it and start using that. So I'll show you how I've done it on my site. So if you are, if I've launched the wave clock and after that, if you go into, if you're using the Mac and then you go to others in applications, then you go to the audio MIDI setup, it will bring you that window. And if you double click on IP MIDI or you press here, you add the IP MIDI. It will bring you, uh, oh, give me a second. Where's the, where's that window? Okay. So normally if you double click here, it will bring you basically the, the options window. And in the options window, you will just have to click that's a loop MIDI and you're using one port, one channel. So that's it. So if it's double click and then you can choose the options there. Then what you do after, you can minimize that in the wave clock. So you see, this is, it brings from time to time because I'm using a trial version. So with the wave clock selected, you can always go at the top menu and choose preference in the preference is going to bring you wave tick input output settings. So I'm using built-in microphone. 
I can choose my Sennheiser USB headset, but no, I'll be keeping uh, my built-in microphone. And this is the this is the option I've chosen here. It's an IP MIDI port one. This is exactly what I said you have to do in the uh, in the MIDI options there. So IP MIDI port one. After that, you can you start you see now the audio levels being captured by the internal microphone of my Mac. So now this is the next steps you need to do on Mac. So when you're running the Magic Queue, right at the top, you can't see, but there is a Tools menu. So if you click on Tools, and then you scroll down, there's an option here called Virtual USB MIDI Setup. You click on that. It brings you this window. So on the left-hand side, it shows you time code and beat clock input. That's exactly what we need. So we need to untick that box to make it active. And then we need to select IP MIDI port 1. If you're using uh, show control input, uh, uh, using MIDI notes, etc., then you'll have to use that part of the window. But in our case, if you're using anything but rack mount dongle, you will be able to only open this one. With the rack mount, you open both of them. So you select IP MIDI port 1 and press OK. After that, you go in a setup window here, then you click ports. You come here in a remote trigger type, double click, and then you choose MIDI bit quarter. So that the MIDI bit quarter will exactly be able to set your timing correct. So that means if you set as a MIDI bit quarter, that means it's going to be, I think, I believe every uh, every uh, quarter it sends 25 pulses, I think. So that means if you set it as a MIDI quarter, that means it will be sending and counting every quarter of the beat. So uh, instead of, let's say, MIDI beat. MIDI beat, it means once in a in in four beats. So anyway, if you set MIDI beat quarter, you will not be mistaken. And the next one is remote trigger action. You double click and out of the options here, you choose tap to time selected playback. So now you can see my chase started running already, uh, trying to keep up with the speed. So as you can see here, my, my chase is selected and the way I speak and you see it shows me the audio level and it triggers that the speed I'm talking with is about 100 10, 114 bits per minute. So what it means is if I'll run an audio file now and it will start capturing the music, it will be able to capture the approximate speed of it, the wave clock I'm talking about, will, will capture the approximate speed of the, of the music and then it will feed back into the magic queue and it will set the time, uh, the speed of the selected playback. I mean, uh, just for the uh, just for the argument's sake, I will I'll play something uh, and see how it works. So you you might be able to hear it. Sorry. Okay. So as you can he see here, when, as soon as I start playing the music, it will start picking up the beats of the um, of the music. I mean, the wave clock starts picking up the beats, and then it was feeding into the console, and the console was reacting w to the speed of the beat clock, so MIDI beat clock. Again, this is not perfect simply because next to my microphone, I do actually have the uh, fans on my laptop and they bring the, obviously the noise. So if you're using a proper microphone, you will be able to actually read it and use it, let's say in your club environment. So instead of you 
uh, standing the whole night uh, in your night in the nightclub next to your console and pressing the uh, BPM speed tapping the time you can actually leave your chase uh, set up the the your system to pick up the the music and it will pick up the the beats of the music the beats per minute and it will set your time uh, the speed of your uh, chase same way it work works with um, uh, with uh, uh, with effect as well. So now, if you open the view queue of that playback, uh, it's already started picking up the speed. So if I launch it, you will be able to see that it also runs the speed of 130 uh, bits per minute. This is the speed I'm currently talking with, so it's 105 bits per minute. So if I switched it off, if I switch off the this to be none then you will be able to see that the speed stopped working and then if you want to set the speed you'll have to tap here the speed yourself or you can do double or half the speed here again as soon as i turn it on you will start seeing it picks up quickly and it works so basically the tap to time will work on all the playbacks that you have selected and it will apply accordingly so if you want to run it in a, with a correct speed in the nightclub or wh whatever uh, environment you're using in so this is the way how to set it up and if you want to learn more about it you can always open the manual type in uh, midi beat clock in a search and it will find it for you and it tells you everything here so basically I showed you the tutorial based on this six uh, uh, <laughs> six lines of the manual but I explained to you with all examples of how you can use it and utilize it again this is just an example I'm sure you may find the other different methods of uh, utilizing this really nice feature and when the nightclubs are open or if you're watching this when the clubs are already open after the whole pandemic then it's awesome and you have a chance to actually try this thank you very much and have a lovely day bye bye